Hey guys, welcome back to the React Native course. In the last video, we have talked about the conditional rendering in React Native. In this video, we are going to talk about use effect hook as component will unmount method. Okay, so what is uh, component will unmount method? Basically, we want to perform some action or some function when the component get removed from the UI or unmount from the UI. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, create a component and we're gonna create a button and whenever you use a click on a button, the component will remove from the UI. Okay, and inside the child component, we're gonna have a one cleaner function, which we're gonna show you guys. And what is the need of lifecycle method on unmount? So we will also discuss that point. Okay, so let's go, go on the code and understand it. So I'm going to remove the code quickly and we're gonna create a one react native component uh, const app okay and quickly in just few seconds we are good to go uh, with a component learn component oh oh my batch learn component will unmount method in react native and we have to export a default our app component cool so we can see that our component now uh, we want to uh, have we want to going to create another component called child component okay and re returning view inside i am child component okay now you can see that uh, there is a called parent component and inside after that we're gonna render a child component perfect now i'm going to create one component and you know make a child child component look like you know some fluffy so we can see that perfect now what we're gonna do basically we're gonna create a button okay and we're gonna give a title as a uh, basically toggle child okay and we're gonna create a button on press event and whenever we click so it we will toggle that okay so let's create function is is render child set is render child okay so i created one state uh, called is render child and if it's that true then it will render that children component otherwise it will not render the component okay now uh, let me do like this let me okay now another thing is that whenever we click on button we're gonna update the function okay update the state as a toggling like we just toggle that state so toggle the state so if it's true then we are setting the false and if it's false then we are setting is true okay now now we're gonna perform a condition that if his render child is true then we will only run the child component and otherwise i'm gonna render as a null i'm going to null, null nothing okay makes sense now you can see that we currently is okay so let's understand the code so i created one app component and after that i created a child component i created a state called is render child and i created a button and whenever user click on button so we are we are just updating the value as a uh, opposite one so if it's re is render child is a true then we are updating as a false okay now after that we have created one state called is render child if it's true then we are rendering the child component otherwise we are rendering the null so currently is true the value is true then we are rendering the child component now when i toggle this so it will remove from the ui perfect now let's try to understand the use effect function for component will unmount method now i'm gonna you know import the use effect hook from the react and use effect hook to, uh, takes two argument the first argument is called function and the second argument is called dependency array okay use effect will run when the component and uh, component get mount or dependency uh, dependency item state update 
okay update perfect now you can see that uh, if i reload that so you can see that we are getting a console perfect now now let's try to understand that let's suppose uh, what is the need of cleaner function or uh, uh, basically component will unmount method so so component will unmount method looks like this okay this is called component will unmount method method or cleaner function or cleaner function you can tell start okay so cleaner function how is it is gonna look like a cleaner function and if i click toggle child and if i uh, you know again toggle i can show that and whenever the component get removed from the okay let me do like this so currently you can see that uh, we are able to see this component right and if i click on toggle so once it get removed so you can see that the cleaner function will get called perfect okay now what is the need of like calling a cleaner function so i'm gonna uh, help you to understand this what is the need let's suppose i'm going to create a let interval and set interval okay so set interval is a javascript method and it will call every interval and calling interval okay so you can see that uh, okay so let me toggle the child so you can see that after every seconds our interval is calling right now if i remove the child component from the ui so is it did it still get called let me see i remove the children component but still you can see that calling interval is running like set interval is running it is not stopped it and that caused a memory leak and if the memory leak happens the our performance will get slower okay and that's uh, it's not a good thing so what is the use of cleaner function basically cleaner function a function which is used to clean the side effect a uh, clean the subscription unsubscribe the subscription which you have subscribed uh, which you have subscribed basically whenever the component will unmount from the ui we have to clear this interval okay so you can see that like if we toggle the child and if i remove the uh, component so it's still interval is calling so what we have to do we have to clear this interval well okay whenever the component get mount and that is the use case of cleaner funds and if i click on toggle child component so you can see that it's visible and again i click on so you can see that it will get stopped and it's it is not stopped let me reload this app okay now again so you can see that calling interval is running and i stop this and you can see that it is not calling anymore okay and this is the use case of cleaner function i think it makes sense to you guys so what is the cleaner function clean them function a function which is used to clean the side effect or unsubscribe the subscribe event whenever the component will get unmount yeah, that's all i think uh, about the component will unmount lifecycle method and we have covered the most of the lifecycle method in react native so if we summarize the quickly all the stuff which we have learned so whenever the component get mount the use effect will run uh, and if we have not passed dependency array so it will update again and again if we pass just any dependency state so it will uh, use effect will run whenever the dependency state will change and the component get mount cleaner function when the component get get unmount we the cleaner function will get called why we use cleaner function cleaner function are used to uh, prevent memory leak or unsubscribe the some event when the component get unmount from the ui okay in the next video we are going to talk about responsive layout with flexbox see you guys in the next video and please let me know if you have any question thank you bye